We got we can't make any more mistakes on shrimp, so we could we could pay the electricity bill because it's huge. Now if you're if you're growing shrimp, okay, no problem. But if you're not, then. Gusto niyo bang malaman ang aming electricity bill, guys? It's scary, but we have to we have to pay it. So hopefully, I don't run out of money. <laughs> <laughs> but. The is in critical condition? Yeah, I'm in critical. <laughs> I'm in a haunted, I am in critical condition as far as. Uh, Welcome back to our channel. So today is a Tuesday. It's July oh, 20. Oh, no, no, no. July 18. So it is, I think it's already nearly 8 o'clock in the morning. It's 7.28 in the morning. And yung baby natin nasa labas. Nilagay ko na siya dun sa bouncer. Kasi tayo, gagawa tayo na we will write a check para sa ating electricity bill because it was already uh, due last last ano, Sunday and kahapon it was raining so hard and we went to the school um, of the kids we enrolled them already so that should be done first and then um, ngayon is tingbayad na ng ating electricity bill and Gusto niyo bang malaman ang aming electricity bill, guys? It's scary, but we have to. We have to pay it. Yeah. And by the way, meron tayong, parang meron tayong sore eyes. What? I'm not so sure lang kung sore eyes ba ito. It's not itchy, but it's red. See? You can see if I look there. It's red. Um, Mark said it, it's kinda um, look like I'm having a an eye hemorrhage, he said, and I search over Google. The cost of that is usually when you sneeze and cough hard, that I usually do in the middle of the night. Kung mag dry yung throat ko kasi, you know, I don't know um, if it's the uh, breastfeeding thing, but every time I breastfeed my baby. Ano talaga guys, dry kasi, dry talaga yung ano ko, throat ko. So I need to drink water before I feed the baby. So that's, I usually get the hard cough. Anyways, let's go out and make the, write the check. And um, meron akong paano dito if in case, um, sana lang hindi mahuaan si baby. Let's just pray. Let's go. Hello baby. Baby. <laughs> Hello, baby. Oh, he's holding na. He knows how to hold na. My my other baby. <laughs> so sad, no? Electricity bill, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got we can't make any more mistakes on shrimp, so we could uh, we could pay the electricity bill because it's huge. Now, if you're if you're Growing shrimp, okay, no problem. But if you're not, then you guys wanna know how much our electricity bill? <laughs> you wanna show it to them? <laughs> so, uh, it's the total. Tada! One hundred forty-four thousand three hundred thirty-nine point eighty-nine, guys. That's <laughs> one month of electricity bill. <laughs> how can we pay that? We have to sell a lot of shrimps <laughs> and tilapia. Yeah, you have to sell a lot. <laughs> By the way, this is the, the bill of the whole farm, baby, including our usage in the house, right? Yeah, so I think... Because before, we we used to have two bills, different separate bills. Well, but I think we get a better commercial rate, so might as well put, we put the house and everything on 
on the commercial. On the, the commercial. The three phase. Mm -hmm. So what's um, here in Eleco two? They charge us how much? Well, when I add up the the kilowatt hours and I add up the total that they charge us, it's like twelve point four, twelve pesos and forty four centavos per kilowatt hour. Still high, huh? Still high. I mean, like more power is more like seven or eight or something like that. So seven. I thought it's nine. nine. Seven. Well, let's say nine. Even if it's nine, it's. They're, you know, that's like 34, 30% more for here in the province. So it's pretty high. So as you can see there, guys, at the back. There, but they are harvesting tilapia. So we have sellers there waiting. Actually, they are dragging now. Um, what's the estimate there now? Remaining. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure how many fish there. I hoping, I'm hoping we got at least a week's worth of fish. So maybe I'm hoping for like five, six hundred kilos left. Oh. I got to start draining that pond. So that we can put new ones. I need ones. to put more fish there. Yeah, I need to put more fish there. All right, guys. So I think I have to write the check. I have to write the check. Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the I guess that 144,000 pesos it includes every well, it includes, our, it includes well, you could consider that our electric here in the house we run the air, we run one aircon 24/7 because of the baby, and then so that's like 15,000 a month, 15 to 20, so. So basically, the the farm is just like around 80. No, it's 120. It's gonna get worse. It'll probably when I get everything going, it'll probably be about. So more. with that bill, baby, how many paddle wheels running? Running a lot. Okay, let me count. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know, maybe like ten paddle wheels, something like that. Ten. Yeah. And that's 24/7. The problem now is the pumping. Uh. The farm requires a lot of pumping. I got four two horsepower pumps pretty much running all the time, 24 hours a day. We have one pump, deep well pump, that's a one horsepower mm -hmm. that runs 24 hours a day. So the pumping is a big issue. I just had ordered some new pumps. They're amazing. Um, they're, they're, they're like this low head, high output electric pumps. They will do what they will. They will do twice what a two horsepower pump will do for 300 watts. So I'm really excited about those. I spent about 200,000 pesos for pumps. 200,000. Yeah. <laughs> that will get make sure that all the ponds are completely 100% recirculated. Um, and then we can. The, the problem with tilapia farming is that you have to drain because they breed they breed like crazy so you have to drain to kill all the the the, the fingerlings right they breed in about if they breed in like four months so if you have a bunch of fingerlings you got to kill them so you got to drain the pond completely well you, if you're talking about draining one hectare of pond yeah that's huge man <laughs> you got to have serious pumping power you got to have serious pumping power and it's too costly. If you run diesel motors, it's too costly. Diesel motors are always breaking down. The electric motors are good, 
but they're not too efficient because they're more designed for high head, for pumping with pressure. Well, we don't need that because all the ponds are connected. We just need to pump one pond to the one other pond. pond. Yeah. So we need these pumps that are low head. They're called low head, um, high flow pumps. And then we need good technology where, where it uses very little electricity. So that's what I got. I got these pumps, they're from Priya, P, I think it's spelled P-E-R-I-H-A. They, the Koi guys love them, everybody. Priya, Priya. Priya, something like, the Koi guys love them, everybody loves them. I've never really seen them used in a, in a commercial farm. Is that the one we got? Well, we the have big, their, we the have these one? little, we have these little ones. Oh, oh yeah, the, you saw the new big the one we got? Inch? The four inch? Yeah, it's four inches. It puts out four inches of water. So like 60 cubic an hour is what they advertise. You never get that. Maybe you get like 40 cubic, but that's still a lot of water for a lot of electricity. So I'm super excited about these, these pumps. So the farm is pretty much, it's almost done. I got bird net. It's a lot of labor to get the bird net up. Um, the bird net's really important, man. There's so many birds. Anybody that's gonna do a tilapia farm, I would suggest you spend the money and get bird net. <laughs> I mean, they were out there killing birds today. Yeah, I saw that wild they, duck. They, they're, the birds are really bad at the fingerling stage, all the way up to like 30, they have to be up to like 30, 50 grams before the birds leave them alone. Yeah. But then the big ones, they get these big birds, and they'll sit at the edge and they'll they'll try to catch the big ones so no matter what you lose a percentage of your fish to birds so if you got bird net your survival rate will go up um so if you got fingerlings you'll lose most of your fish to birds if you got fingerlings so that's our problem right now is um, i'm trying to get solved the pumping i had to order these pumps special from china because they don't have them here in the Philippines. They have the smaller ones. You could get the smaller ones from Lazada. Those are good too. Those are called Priyana 2500s. Uh, this one I got here is, I don't know, it's a different model. They only sell it in China. So I had it special made, special ordered. And so we have 30 of them. I might start reselling them because they're such they're such good pumps. Uh, maybe somebody- Reselling? Yeah, I might. <laughs> yeah, because nobody's got them. Tell our viewers. Yeah, nobody's got these pumps. So if you want to start like a small backyard fish pond and you, you need a good pump, this is the way to go. So um, I would highly recommend it. We've had the smaller ones. Yeah, let us know. So Martin order in China. Well, I ordered 30 of them. So I have. I wanted to have extra. So, oh, I, so okay. I could I could start selling a few and then just reordering when I when I when I get low on stock because okay. I want to keep extras here. Okay. So, so we will do a follow-up um, video when it arrives, huh? I guess I should do a product review. Yeah, <laughs> you and then, should. And then Filipinos could order from me because they can't, <laughs> they can't, they can't get them anywhere else. Yeah. So things are going we, good at the farm. Yeah, we have a viewer, baby, like uh, recommending, like if you can do more about like the process from. I'm so the getting be, getting well, products from China. It's just like, Mark is so busy, he has no time to do that. Yeah, I have to keep an eye on this farm, so I'm not, I mean, if he's doing the vlogging, I don't really have time, um, unless I hire somebody to just follow me around. <laughs> <laughs> and then still, you got to do the, right, the, edit. the editing, editing, and that takes time. So I just don't have time. Um, things are going well here. Uh, of course, when you start any business, it's hard because there's lots of learning mistakes. So we, we've gone through the learning mistakes and we're starting to see the production go up and yeah. up and up and up. And, up and, and up. then it's just a matter of, I think we're there. So I just got some finishing touches. Hopefully I don't run out of money. <laughs> <laughs> but the is, it is in critical condition. Yeah, I'm in critical, I'm in, I am in critical condition as far as. Uh, How much? Five hundred. That's Joseph. He's decided he's going to be a fish sailor. So, <laughs> no more, no, no longer carpenter. So we got to, we're going to give him some change. Let's see what else is happening at the farm. 
uh, lots of shrimp now, lots of fish. I'm having I'm having some. Uh, I got to figure out how to produce more fingerlings. The fingerlings are the key to the tilapia. Then we started doing live sales, so we're starting to sell shrimp live and starting to sell the tilapia live on trikes. That's what Joseph's going to be doing. He's going to be selling live tilapia. I think that's a first in Western Visayas. Well, it's definitely, I think, a first in Ilo Ilo, huh, babe? Yeah. The live fish. So. Hey, we have 300. That's all the change back there? Points, how much is that point there? 300? One. 100? Okay. That's all the coin. That's all the change. There's no hundreds back there. It's all big bills. Five hundred and one thousand. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I guess I haven't done an update on the farm in a long time. The guys are learning. I guess. I guess the 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 guys are learning, especially 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 Billy and 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 B Boy. They're really learning about the farming now. They know they because they they become experts on killing shrimp, <laughs> so they know they know they now know how how critical things are. So uh, it's important. It's important for then we got some new people. So matter of fact, I probably should get busy. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you finish up because right. I need to go watch things. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, basically that's it, guys. So that's the update of the farm uh, with our electricity bill as well. So this is the video all about. And uh, Mark has to go because he has to check um, the water parameters, make sure everything is correct and all the testings are done before they will do feeding. So right now our guys are busy um, entertaining customers for um, harvesting tilapia. So yeah, so that's it for the update in the farm and uh, we thank you so much for supporting us and keep supporting us. <laughs> If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share to the people who loves farming. See you. See you, baby.